I'm back in the mountains one more time. We are in Prospect and we're gonna be here for a few weeks. There's a couple of trips I got planned here and there, but for the most part, we're gonna be here in Prospect. Southern Oregon is all about top down on the Jeep, hiking, outdoor stuff. And today I'm gonna try out a new piece of gear I just bought. It's an accessory to go with one of my cameras and I brought you to National Creek Falls. I made a video, I think it was one of my very first videos that I did waterfalls here in, uh, in Southern Oregon. So I'm gonna put the link right here. If you haven't seen it, you know, give it a shot. Then keep in mind it was one of my very first videos. <laughs> But I think things are progressing. Let me uh, hike down to the falls. It's only about a quarter mile hike and I'll show you what this accessory is and what I want to do with it. Something I've always liked about this part of the country is all these creeks, all these rivers come from springs right up, right up the river here and the water is super refreshing, very tasty, it's cold and it has a great flavor. at National Creek Falls. This is probably one of my favorite waterfalls here in the area. And I can see already that it's, it's gonna be perfect. The water is clear. It's not as much water as we had last summer, but it looks amazing. So this is the accessory I was talking about. You know, I've always liked the underwater photography where you can see underwater and then you can see above and or just fully underwater. And I know the GoPro does a fantastic job. I was looking for a dome for my Canon R5 and it was in the thousands of dollars. So I decided to get this. It's a little dome for the GoPro, and especially made for the GoPro 9. So even though the GoPro is waterproof, you want to keep, you want to be able to see half into water, half above, and the, having the globe like that is going to help tremendously. So I've never used this before. Let's go see what kind of video we can get, what kind of pictures we can get, and I'll share the results.
So I think I did all the testing. I won't know what the pictures or video looks like until I get to edit them. But I, I'm pretty sure they're gonna look great. <laughs> I got a, one more test I wanna do, but if you're wondering why my hair is wet, well, I'm gonna show you a short clip because I need to upgrade my intro. <laughs> it's been a while. So I've been messing around now that my hair is longer. I was looking at some of the previews on my phone and I noticed the water spots from the waterfall so I came over to the lake. It's a little bit more peaceful. There's not as much water coming in and there's no mist in the air. So I'm thinking a calmer space would be better for this camera. Uh, and then I also used the fish pond and got the, some of the goldfish in there too. <laughs> so you're probably gonna see these videos before I do. So let me know in the comments what you think, I'm, I'm curious. I also bought a water repellent uh, made for plastic. I can't use the traditional glass repellents because it'll damage the plastic. But uh, as soon as I get it, I got a few ideas of how I want to use this camera. I think that's the end. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed those samples. Let me know in the comments if you think that dome is worth the 50 or 70 bucks, whatever it is worth. Uh, I think it's a pretty cool perspective. I want to use it more. Uh, I, I could see it like in a paddle board or, a, or a, in the ocean or something like that where you could really see underneath. But let me know what you think. I'm, I'm interested in what your thoughts were. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye.